Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. In one of my earlier videos, I explained and tested the LD2410 Human Presence Detection Module. It works well at 24 GHz frequency. It worked well in a human presence detection system, but lacks so many other features related to human physical activity and behavior. So, I got an alternative today. This is a C1001mm web human detection sensor which works at 60 GHz. This module is so powerful that it can not only detect human presence but also perform many other functionalities. This includes human posture detection. It can detect whether the person is alive or dead. It can also detect whether the target is moving or stationary. Not only target detection, but it can also determine whether the person is sitting, lying on the bed or sleeping. Using the point cloud imaging algorithms, it can determine how long the person has slept or whether the sleep quality is good or not. It accurately reports the fallen state, stay time and static body stay state. Apart from this, it accurately measures the heartbeat or pulse rate as well and the respiration rate. It's amazing, right? Such a small sensor has numerous powerful capabilities. In this video, we will go through the C1001mm wave human detection sensor features, capabilities, pin out, communication protocol, and the installation method. Later, we will interface this sensor with the ESP32 microcontroller. Then, we will go through three different examples to understand the module's capability. In the first example, we will determine the presence of information. Then, we will calculate the respiration rate and also get the heartbeat in BPM. In the second example, we will find out the sleep information of a person. This includes bed entry status, sleep status, awake duration, sleep quality score, and number of turns during a sleep, along with many other functionalities. In the third example, we will determine the fall information. This means it can calculate fall duration, unattended duration, dual duration, and fall sensitivity. So, was this video till the end to learn about this amazing product. Welcome back again. First, let's learn about the sensor in detail. The C1001mm Web Human Detection Sensor is a high precision 60 GHz millimeter wave radar sensor engineered for advanced human detection. The 24 GHz millimeter wave sensors are limited to detecting presence, speed, and distance only. The C1001 sensor offers enhanced detection capabilities, including fall detection and sleep monitoring. It recognizes human posture using a point cloud imaging algorithm. It operates at 5V and has an operating current of 100MA. The operating frequency lies anywhere between 61 to 61.5 GHz. With a transmission power of 6 dBm, it has a maximum detection distance of 11 meters. It has a wide radar detection angle, which is 100 cross 100 degrees. It has a sleep detection distance between 0.4 to 2.5 meters. To determine the respiration and heart rate, the detection distance should be between 0.4 to 1.5 meters. It has a breath measurement range of 1 to 25 breaths per minute. And the heart rate measurement range is between 60 to 100 beats per minute. Let's see the installation method now. For fall mode, usually the sensor is installed at the top. The radar covers a stereoscopic fan-shaped area with a horizontal angle of 100 degree and a pitch angle of 100 degree. To ensure accurate radar detection, please install it on top as shown in the figure here. For sleep mode detection, the radar beam coverage range is as shown in the figure. The radar covers a stereoscopic fan-shaped area with a horizontal angle of 40 degree and a pitch angle of 40 degree. In order to meet the stable detection of human presence and sleep breathing and heartbeat, there are certain installation requirements for radar installation. 
This should be the radar installation direction as the front view. There can be an inclined installation with a downward tilt angle of 30 to 45 degrees. Let's learn how we can use this sensor with a microcontroller. For testing, I am using an ESP32 microcontroller. Here is the simple connection diagram. As it's a UART module, we need to connect its UART pins to the ESP32. I am using a simple breadboard for connection and interfacing. I have installed a jumper wire here so that I can tilt and move the sensor in any direction. Let's move to the coding part now. Since this sensor is a UART module and requires complex communication decoding, there is a very good library developed by DF Robot. This is a driver library for human millimeter wave detection capable of detecting respiratory, sleep, and fall detection functions. First, download this library and add it to the Arduino IDE library folder. We will go through the three example test. Let's see the first example. In the first example, we will connect the motion information, which means the person is active or inactive or still or moving. We will also measure the respiration rate and heart rate. I have modified this code to be used with the SP32 microcontroller. So, upload the code. Once the uploading is done, open the serial monitor. As you can see here, it is able to detect the active or inactive state and directly shows if the person is moving or still. See the respiration rate here, which looks correct. You may manually calculate the respiration rate to verify. Also, see the heartbeat information. It's correct. Really amazing, right? Even without any physical contact, it's perfectly measuring the heart rate and breathing rate. You may go through testing the sensor on different people. Let's move to the second example now. In this example, we will acquire the sleep information. Using this example code, we can determine the bed entry status, sleep status, awake duration, deep sleep duration, sleep quality score, number of turns, number of times out of bed, and many other functionalities, which you can read it here. So, upload this code as well. And let's start the testing. As you can see in the serial monitor, it shows the person is awake now and other details. To find out the sleep status for long hours, you need to test this sensor for a long period of time. Since the person was sleeping, all the information related to sleep has been acquired and shown here. You may manually check the other information on any person at your home. Now, let's go to the third example using this module. The example is related to fall information acquisition. This example will determine the fall duration of a person as well as the unattended duration. It can collect the dwell duration and fall sensitivity as well. After uploading the code, the sensor test is started. When a person is present, it shows someone is present and also says about the motion information that the person is active or not. It can show the body movement parameters and fall status. You can again check this sensor for the fall detection application by installing it at your room or outside. Well, that's all from the example part of this project. One of the popular applications of this product could be an indoor fall detection system and sleep tracker information acquisition. Well, that's all from the video part today. In the next video, I will come with some practical applications of this C100160 GHz MM wave sensor. I have also written a dedicated informational article about this project published on our website. You can go through it and find out the circuit, code, installation method, etc. For now, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.